Every year Google releases a new iteration of Android operating system. Last year it was the Android 9 Pie and this year it is going to be the Android 10 or Android Q. Obviously if Google sticks with its naming system. Now there are a lot and lot of rumors related to Android Q and all its features but now there are a couple of features that are confirmed. The guys over XG developers were able to run the leaked early build of Android Q on Google Pixel 3 XL and this revealed some of the unique features that we are going to see in the next version of Android. Now it cannot be said if the final version of Android Q will have all the features that are there in early build or not but we hope that they are in the final version. Now this leaked early build is pretty new as per XDS since it comes with the February 2019 security patch. So in this video I will be talking about some of the interesting features that were revealed in this leaked early build of Android Q. The very first thing that we are going to see in Android Q is the system wide dark mode or dark theme. We were waiting for this from past couple of Android versions and finally Google is going to add it in the Android 10 or Android Q. Now this is not the first time we heard about system wide dark mode on Android Q since in the first week of January that is this month a comment was spotted on Chromium Garrett which revealed that Google is working on a system wide dark mode in Android Q. Now this comment was made last year in October and so till now we were not able to confirm if Google is still planning to add dark theme on Android Q. But now thanks to this early leaked Android Q build it is now confirmed that there is indeed a system wide dark mode in the display settings. So to enable it the user needs to go into settings display and there is an option named set dark mode. The user can either set it to always on or automatic which means the dark theme will be applied based on the time of the day. When turned on the settings notification panel and even the notifications get this dark theme. Since most of the Google applications like dialer, contacts, messages, YouTube etc have already got the dark mode we think that when the user sets the dark mode option in display settings to always on then all the Google apps will get this dark theme applied. So you would no longer have to toggle it by going into individual app settings. Now it is not known how Google is going to make these apps interact with the system wide dark mode but if it happens then it will be impressive. Finally there is a developer option named override force dark. So basically this option enables the dark theme on even those applications that don't have this option built in like the official Facebook app. But still the option is not perfect since there are some issues while dark mode is applied to the apps that don't have this built in option. So yes the system wide dark mode is finally coming in Android Q or Android 10 but that's not it. There are still a lot of other features in the next Android version. Let's talk about the permissions. From Android Marshmallow to Android Pie we have seen a huge improvement in how apps handle all the permissions and how the users can control it. But Google is going to make some more improvements in Android Q. Now you have more control on the permissions and the user can select some specific permissions like location etc to be granted only when the particular app is in use. Along with this the permissions page that is there for every app is also redesigned and now it shows which app is allowed or denied the access to permissions like location or the microphone. Finally the app info screen is also redesigned with the new open, uninstall and four stop icons instead of the traditional buttons that we see on previous iterations of Android. Then there is a new option in developer options named force desktop mode and the description of this option says that it forces the experimental desktop mode on the secondary displays. Now this might be something similar to the Samsung DeX but not much is known about this feature since Pixel 3 XL that was running this early leaked Android Q build wasn't able to connect to Wi-Fi so the guys at XD were not able to use the cast option in case the cast option is required for this option to work. Now talking about some more changes there are now two new options in the accessibility page in settings. There is an option named time to take action. The description of this option says that it lets you choose how long to show messages that ask you to take action but are visible only temporarily. And as the screenshot shows not all the apps support this setting. Then there is also a second option named time to read which lets you choose how much time you want to read and take actions on the messages that automatically go away. The always on display settings are now located in the lock screen display option in the display settings and the always on display slightly redesigned with battery icon moved to the top right instead of the center. So there is now only date and time in the center. Then there is a new quick setting tile named sensors off. This option might be helpful in order to disable all the sensors on the phones like accelerometer, gyroscope etc. And this is something that is not possible in the current Android version. 
Well, there are still a lot of new features and settings in Android Q, but like I said about the dark mode, it cannot be said if Google will add all these new features to the final build of Android Q or Android 10. So that was all about this video. If you liked it, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.